Well, Savon Keller, you're a very, very well-known uh, tourism consultant in, uh, in this space, in Australia. What did you expect out of today, and this morning at least, and has it fulfilled those expectations? Well, uh, I think the focus was primarily China, uh, which is good. Uh, it's certainly the growth market of the future. Uh, but we've got to come a long way to, to, to satisfy the requirements of that market. Mm. Uh, that came very clearly today. Yeah. Um, and the gap between our own standards and what the comfort level requirements of Chinese are totally is, is really wide. And I think we need to, to do something about that. Uh, secondly, I think uh, uh, the way the new direction of uh, tourism 2020, I think it's got a lot of uh, legs. And, uh, and I feel quite very comfortable and confident that we might be able to mm. be on a, on a good, good wicket and a good thing and it'll be good for yeah. Australia. There seems to be a sort of a new fresh breath sort of going through Tourism Australia and the sort of government side with even government ministers talking uh, sort of a bit more sense these days. Absolutely, I was amazed at the, at, at, at the content of the, 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 the speeches made by the senior yeah. Both, uh, Martin Ferguson and, and I mean they weren't Brian. lip service were they? And they were. Well we hope not. Not cliches. No know? that's right yes. And, yeah. and, and motherhood statements they were actually given this is what we want this is where we stand with the Qantas engineers going on strike. Yeah. Oh, that was an amazing statement by the minister so yeah. I think it was good. I think it's really it gives you a sense of confidence that there is a, there is a future for tourism in this country which is wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Pleasure.